Hey guys and welcome back to Nifty Challenge. So uh, this is a bonus uh, video just for a review of an IPO everybody is uh, too much keen to know about. It's about the company Adani Vilma Group and I'm sure you are very well aware of the company. Very famous for uh, the Fortune refined oil, oil which you're using every day at your home. So let's, uh, yeah, I'm just going to give you my view whether I feel it right or whether I'll be investing in this IPO or not. So let's see this uh, IPO is coming up. Uh, uh, for a issue price of 218 as a lower limit and 230 as upper limit of the cutoff. So in case we talk about the upper limit, then uh, the company would be raising approximately 3,600 crore through this IPO as a fresh capital. And uh, after this, the company will have a market cap uh, from counting from the top end value that is 230 rupees per share will be about 30,000 crore precisely to be 29,900 crore will be the market cap of the company you can note down this figure because that is what we'll be comparing with the pairs whether it is good to invest or not now well, the purpose for this IPO from the company as told is for capital expenditure and also for new manufacturing facilities even for the repayment of the borrowings the company Adani Wilman has been incorporated in 1999. It's a very famous company for FMCG. Basically, they have a lot of products including oleochemicals, castor oil, palm oil and a lot of palm products. The famous uh, Fortune oil which you already know about. And that's their flagship brand. So now coming at a price of uh, 218, 219 to 230, whether you should invest or not, uh, let me give you my view using the values of the company now see uh, coming at a price band and issue size of 3600 crores we see that uh, as financials of the company this uh, company has performed really well the, in 2019-20 year their CAGR was up by 13 percent and in the current year it is uh, showing a strong CAGR value up by 39 percent which is a good value although coming at the current uh, value of 2000 uh, sorry 230 rupees the PE calculated PE of the company comes to around 37.5 which is fair enough for this sector which we'll talk about further now let's see the important things that is basically the balance sheet and the cash flow of the company you have to note down this figure there's something very important the share capital as of March is 114.3 the borrowings 1034 let's come up uh, to something more important Upper price value, existing share 114.29 crores, fresh issue market cap of 29,886.7 crore. An EPS of 6.37, a PE ratio of approximately 36.1, whereas in this industry the PE is approximately up to 66. Now, the important part is the borrowings and liabilities. So the company has a total liability of 13,000 crore which is repeatedly rising from March 2017 up nearly double and this uh, IPO is raising 3,600 crores. So you can reduce 3,600 crores from here and you can see what this is going to help the company and the liabilities are still going to be a lot. They have a good borrowing amount of 1,024 crores, a lot of uh, current liabilities 8,300. This is a net liability which we are interested in. Now coming to the important thing the net cash flow of the company is also negative you see it is negative 288.85 let's see another company which is doing the same business there are two of them one is Marico you must be aware about Marico the Safola oil which you use and HUL that is Hindustan Unilever here is the comparison with the Marico which I'm gonna give you so see Marico is a famous company producing these parachute oils Safola, Livon, Revive you must have heard about these things from Marico. Now Marico has a PE of 51.9 and you just notice that the market cap of Marico is 60,876 crore. Please note this down. Whereas Adani will mark uh, market cap is coming around 29,881 crore. So you are paying 230 rupees for a share with a market cap of 29,881 crore. Whereas this company has a market capital of 60,800 crore and the share price is nearly double although the market cap is also nearly double so 230 is somewhat a fair price which I can say comparing the market cap now let's come to the financials let's see the 
revenue of this company is 9000 crores the eps is 9.08 whereas in adani wilmar the earning per share is coming up to 6 nearly 5.78 so investing in Marico is looking much better opportunity than investing in Adani Wilmar. An EPS of 9.08 which we see here. Let's come to the balance sheet of this company. So they have a total liability of only 2000 crores whereas you are getting a liability of 13,000 crores in case of Adani Wilmar. Total liability here is only 5,426 crores. Well, I suggest uh, it's not a very, very fascinating buy to me to invest into Adani Wilma. Seeing all this comparison with their major pairs, that is Marico, with a similar business what you have. Although you can expect some listing gains because a lot of retailer involvement is there on the first day itself. 57% of the stock was, so 57% of the listing was done by the uh, retailer themselves. So we can expect that and uh, uh, this way we will be I think it is much better to invest in Marico and I would be okay to invest in Adani Wilma somewhere below 200 honestly seeing the liabilities of the company so it's a strict no from my side but uh, of course uh, please do your judgment please do consult your financial advisor for the same thank you so much and all the best and thanks again